Hello everyone. Yes, this video is going to be an all black video, so there's really nothing to see, but I do want y'all to kind of listen. Um so this is um a book that I made of Five Nights at Freddy's. And I'm just gonna be uh since security breach is literally just around the corner, it's coming out on December 16th. Uh, I'm going to read some of the chapters that I've made from Security Breach and explain some theories with you. Because uh, I thought that would be pretty fun because, you know, I'm super excited for Security Breach to come out. So anyway, let's start here. Uh, here we go. Chapter 3. It's called Pirate's Cove. So basically, what's happened before is like the first chapter is just explaining like every single chapter like it's explaining what happened to the sister location animatronics the opening of the pizzeria what purple guy did to the kids about the crying child you know about spring trap um about entered about glitch trap you know like all of that kind of stuff um and then the second one the second chapter is called backstory where it tells you um, about the second and third pizzeria kind of being connected somehow. Um, and then, so it says here, um, he died, he died because an animatronic bit his head. Um, so this is talking about the crying child. Um, I feel like he was stuffed into a suit. Foxy. Let's, he's probably in Foxy. All right, let's go check in Pirate's Cove if he was inside Foxy. So they're going to, while Foxy's shut down for the uh, kind of night, I guess. Um, I don't think that they, they don't know in this. This is a book I wrote, by the way. They don't know that Foxy's alive, you know, during the night. So chapter three is Pirate's Cove. Okay, let's open the curtains. What? Where's Foxy? I swear he was here. Maybe he's... Comma. And then... Dun, 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 dun. Which is Foxy running, of course. And we are actually with Phone Guy. We're with Phone Guy right now in the book. Um, because... Um... There's one page in Chapter 1 that says, Hello, hello, um, hello, and welcome to Security Breach. Yeah, this is... All the rest of it is just kind of talking about Security Breach and all that. Foxy, no. Oh, that was phone guy talking, by the way. Phone guy. Okay. So like, he's screaming, phone guy. It's like, phone guy's been eaten by Foxy now. Okay, I have to finish the night. And then he, um, it, it says, ah, and then it cuts it off. Because he was trying to scream and, like, run away from Foxy. But then he got kidnapped. So now, you know, of course, he's, what, where am I? Well, I'm in a mall. Wait, I need to find Gregory. So then chapter four is about, um, it's called Mall. So it literally is, uh, in Mall, they, they actually visit the playground. Um, they actually visit the playground. And so, so it says, okay, I'm here at the playground. Um, obviously this is not the beginning of the fourth chapter i'm just skipping ahead to where the playground part is because there's nothing important okay here i am the playground boom what why are the lights out no this and then this is sun drop talking because as we can see in the last trailer he went like he was holding his head like no the sun i want you i want you and then he falls off the thing and then moon drop comes up his head pops up and then he says something i'll have to rewatch it and see what he says um, no, the sun, I want you, I want you, and, and our character says, sun drop, was that sun drop, uh oh, moon drop, because we think that sun drop during when the light, like, because of that chapter, he's like, no, the sun, I need you, and then he drops, and then moon drop comes up, so I'm pretty sure moon drop is like the evil version of sun drop, we think that, um, because, spe like, he's like, no, the sun, and then, like, it turns him into evil when there's no sun. Like, it's, it turns dark. So, uh, oh no, Moondrop is coming. 
And then Moondrop says, come here, kid. I'm not sure if he actually says that. I have to get out of here. To the slide. And then there's, um, in the picture, there's a slide leading down to a ball pit. Um, and that's, and, it, and then the exit's right next to that. Uh, so he gets to get out. Um, and then Moondrop is kind of um, climbing up the ladder to the to the top of the slide. And then the next page, finally out. What? Monty's Gator Golf. Let's go there. So he's trying to find somewhere else to go because Moondrop's literally right behind him um, going down the slide. And he sees a giant sign, Monty's Gator Golf. And then Chapter 5 is called Gator Golf. So... Um, but yeah, another theory that I think, um, is that speaking, like, because of that trailer, yeah, I do think that Moondrop is going to be an evil version of Sundrop. Uh, it just kind of makes sense, you know? And then, chapter five, oh no, Moondrop's on my tail. I think I see the entrance. Wait, close the gates, because in one of the things in one of the trailers it looks like we're gonna be able to close gates like like shut gates um and so like like the animatronics will have to break through the gates that's what it looks like like there's this one really cool part where like monty he breaks through th these gates and also um one time it shows uh roxanne like pushing against a gate so i feel like we're gonna be able to shut gates and block the animatronics from chasing us so uh he says wait i, I can close the gates and then he finds Freddy in the golf course. Um, he finds Ro um, uh, Glamrock Freddy in the um, golf course. Uh, so, yeah. And then the next page. Hey, Freddy, while we're here, let's do some golfing. Oh, no, never mind. Run. And then, um, so now Monty found them in the picture. Monty is chasing the stick figure. Uh, which is us. Um, I drew like a black stick figure. Um, and then he says, then our character says, Monty, please spare us. And then just like in the trailer, he says, you will do as I say. You will bring me what I want. And if you fail me, both of you burn. So, uh, another theory about that is like, I feel like... Uh, so, like, Monty is, like, this, right, like, when he says that, he's evil, but, like, I'm pretty sure that the animatronics are going to be nice at the beginning, then they're going to end up being mean at the end. Like, Vanny's going to hack into them or something, or Glitch Trap is, um, uh, okay, so, then Freddy's, like, keep going, and then, then they... Um, get out from the bridge. They get out from the bridge and the exit on the other side. And he goes, I'm free. Bam. Yes, the doors are closed. No more Monty. So the doors closed behind him so that Monty couldn't get in. And then number six, chapter six, the last chapter that I've made so far, um, is laser tag. And chapter seven is going to be vents, and you'll see why. So... They escape Monty's place. Now they're going to laser tag. Oh, cool, laser tag. This should be fun. And then Vanny slash Glitch Trap in, uh, right here is mocking Vanny's voice. Your friends are worried about you. Vanny? Wait, Glitch Trap, I thought you died. Well, you thought wrong. Oh, no, Gregory, I'll save you. So he sees Gregory up in a cage, um, at the top, so he has to beat his high score, um, has to beat Glitch Trap in Laser Tag, and then he gets to, um, he gets to, um, uh, get Gregory down, so. And then Glamrock Freddy comes up, and he says, Gregory, be still, I can get you out, and then he cuts the rope, uh, gets him out, and then we are still fighting with Glitchtrap with the laser gun. And then this is us. Yes, heck yeah, I beat you. No, this can't be happening. Roar! So Glitchtrap was 
glitch trap is turning to, uh, like, ashes, you know, because we beat him. Well, glitch trap was defeated. Wait, get to the vents, huh? Because they see notes on the floor, bloody notes from where glitch trap, his blood fell on the floor, and there's bloody notes in the picture with the blood on the floor that says, get to the vents. So he's like, huh, get to the vents, and he goes, anyway, come on, Gregory, let's get you and us home. Us. Now, I'm pretty sure he's going to take Glamrock Freddy home. Uh, that's, that's what it looks like in the book that I'm reading. I'm trying, like, in the book that I made, I'm kind of, like, I don't know if I'm, uh, going to make him bring Glamrock Freddy home. It, I think I am, actually, in the continuous in the continuing chapters, and that was the end of chapter 6, by the way, um, so, uh, I feel like that, um, I should make him come home with him, so that, um, and then, like, like, they're, like, the cops, you know, are trying to arrest us, because we stole an animatronic from the mall, you know, that'll kind of make the book a little bit longer, like, like, they're, they've been, like, searching, like, everywhere for the pizzeria for this animatronic, and he's not there. And so they have to close down the whole place and find Glamrock Freddy. I think that would be pretty interesting, you know, like, give it a little plot twist. Um, something different on how Security Breach is going to end. We don't know if that's actually how Security Breach is going to end. It's it's not going to, guys, but um, there's no way that it's going to end like that. But yeah, I think it would be cool and different, you know, to, like, explain my own theories of what's going to happen in this book. So yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Chapter 7 is Vents, and Chapter 8 is going to be Follow, uh, because Vanny, they're going to find Vanny in the Vents, and then Vanny's going to tell them to follow them. So now, Chapter 8 is where they follow her. And in this book, I still have to make them meet Glamrock Chica, where, um, and they have to defeat Vanny. And they also have to go to Roxanne's race course. So there's still a lot to come in this book. And I will explain more theories. Um, but yeah. That'll be it for this video. Um, if you do agree with some of my theories. Let me know which ones you agree with. Down in the comment section below. If you agree with all my theories. Make sure you hit the subscribe. Like button. And turn on the notification bell. Oh, also I have to introduce them to the cleaner bots. I think that would be pretty cool. But anyways, guys, peace, and thank you for listening to some theories.